Alright, give me a beer, give me a beer. Bang! I got a blue eel. I'll keep that. It's a great fish, but we're in we're on a carp catching mission today. Toss that one back in. No! <sighs> this dude literally does nothing. Wow, bro. <sighs> yeah, you got something? No. Mm. Looks like we got three carp. <laughs> we. <laughs> Me. I know for a fact that there's somebody in this house now. See, all these doors are open, man. Ew. I'm cleaning the fish. Do you mind prepping the... Oh, God. I'm not sure how to do it. Just take a bowl. Yep. 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 Ah. Oh, no. Oh, yes. Bang. Bang. Uh, bang. 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 Shot. Bang. What else we need? That looks raucous. Uh, while we wait for it to cook, how about we play some board game? Which one? Oh, God. Let's go, man. All right. <clears throat> Start game. Let's go. Um, you always go this one, Danny. What? Bro, you're literally so bad. Like, oh my gosh. Oh, a lot of turns on this one. Gets a bit turvy. Uh, ah. Dang! Get in! I'm on a roll here. Can I get my turn? Uh, um, that one was close. Oh, playing out of my mind. I'm on a roll here. Why does he get two? Exactly. Such a lame eye. Thanks, Mike. All right, the carp should be just about done. Let's grab some plates. I'm starving. I'm starving. I'm starving. This is going to be delectable. Oh, starve. That looks disgusting, bro. <laughs> Um, I think our show is about to come on. Let's do it. Alright, nice. Uh, utensils, maybe? Uh, okay. <laughs> oh, well, okay, well, he just doesn't want to get up. With a lot of salt. salt. Is that Belize? For the bones. After oh, Berlin, what happened? Hey, anyways, I need to check my emails real quick. Lift my laptop upstairs. Instructions. This is the breen of the but we were taking a break from work. We, we it's not work. It just waiting on a shipment. A details for my new DS. Sure new DS? When was the DS out? When was the DS out? Was the DS... Cre oh, let's go released. Released. 2004. Wow. This story is older than me. Chill. I'm off work now. I think there's someone under my bed right now. Can you come upstairs? Don't make sounds. Walk slow. <laughs> gotcha. You're lucky I didn't break your nose, honestly. My good looks are half my charm, huh? Don't mess them up. What? I totally got you. That was fun, wasn't it? Nope. Whatever. Come on, it was just a joke. You wanna go over the next round? Next round? How about a game of hide and seek? Fine. Alright, you're on. I'll count to ten. Hide in the basement, hide in the basement, hide in the basement, hide in the basement. Close the door. Hide in the basement, hide in the basement, hide in the basement. Oh my god, there's gonna be somebody in the basement with me. Where's the basement? Where's the basement? Where's the basement? Where's the basement? I forgot where the basement is. Here it is, here it is. 
See, like the microphone thing doesn't work. Like, see, I can just go. Ah! Nothing. Nothing. Come on now. I'll try and get immersed for you guys. I'll, I'll go. <laughs> Alright, my turn to hide now. Better close your eyes and start counting. One, two, three, four, five. One Mississippi, two Mississippi, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. ten. Ready on here, I can. Run it, okay. Okay, I'm literally about to desecrate this dude. Oh, yeah. Shut up. Found you. Hang on up. I think s I heard something upstairs. Fill me once, shame on you. Fill me twice. No kidding, Sydney. I really heard something sliding up there. You didn't hear it? No, I did not. I swear on my life I heard something. Who is that, bro? It's the cat. Kitty. Kitty, kitty, kitty. Now, this bed. Sus. This bed. Sus. <coughs> oh, I could. <laughs> Two shed in the backyard, but that's actually so intelligent. That's actually so intelligent. Two shed in the backyard. Never said I couldn't go outside, little fella. Huh? Ah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ready or not, here I come. Okay, where do we think? Where are we thinking? Where are we thinking? Where are we thinking? The roof? Who are you, man? What's going on? What happened? There. You heard anything before that? It must have been that old lady, remember? <laughs> you think they're going to arrest the homeowner for fixing the faucet? I was just doing some work. If you can't handle that, it's your problem, not mine. You know what? If you folks don't like me fixing the faucet, I'll leave you to it. Don't call me if it starts leaking again. Okay, yeah, Mike, why would did you... Let me lock the door. Okay, and now what happens if I found him first? After locking the door, we debated what to do. We agreed that there was something off about Rick from the start. It seemed like he enjoyed making excuses to come over unannounced. In the end, we decided Rick was weird, but probably harmless. We attributed his behaviour to an extreme lack of social awareness. Look, we already drove all the way out here. Let's just enjoy ourselves, Mike said. But by this time... I was feeling really tired. I decided to get some rest. Cool. 11.39 p.m. Are you still awake? Hard to sleep when someone's knocking at the door. Do you mind if I come in? I'd like to talk about something, sure. Now I gotta sit by this weird dude. I'm actually really scared. Dot, dot, dot. You know. Dot, dot, dot. I've missed this. Dot, dot, dot. Us just talking, it's been too long. Da -da -da, da -da -da. You know. Would you be doing this if Nora was here? Mike, I don't like you, dude. Ooh. You act like you don't remember our trip to Oregon. I remember it being pretty awkward. It didn't start out awkward, though. We had a lot to drink, things happened. They sure did. I'm hoping maybe that can happen again. SOS Fuzz. You just let me worry about the details. I don't think this is a good time. Kent Pond? The snow is like half of a deep and I can't get the lug nuts off the tire. <laughs> 
SOS, please. <laughs> You're going to have to sort it out, love. What a timing, right? What a timing, huh? But I guess we can't leave Norris stranded. I always like doing nice things for you, Sydney. Please be careful. Thank gosh I didn't have to do... We'll finish talking about this later, okay? Get some good rest and stay warm. Oh no, I'm alone, bro. Okay. Close the door. I couldn't have gone without locking the front door. True, 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 true. Hey, why don't you get some rest while I'm gone? Are you sure it's safe to drive in this weather? Uh, I think I'll crash for a bit. Look, make sure you take care of yourself, alright? Lock all the doors. You sound like my dad. Can you blame me? Before I go, how about I, I mean, just in case you're asleep when I get back, I kind of need one right now. Sweet dreams, drop safe, Mike. Okay, lock that door. Lock the lay door. How do I lock the door? I don't know how to lock the door. I told myself things would get better if I could just get some rest. Nora always knew how to cheer me up and I needed it more by the minute. With her arriving soon, I didn't. I decided to rest in the meantime. 12.39 a.m. Oh, somebody at my door at 12. Someone was at the front door. It's the hiker. It's the hiking dude. Do you have any idea what time it is? Look friend, I know it ain't ideal banging on your door in the middle of the night, but I'm in a bad spot here. I was counting on a ride from some friends, but they are running behind and won't be here for about two more hours. You can sit on a porch while you wait. Thanks, but I was hoping you'd let me wait inside until my friends get here to get me. You're not coming in, end of story. Are you kidding me? You gonna let me freeze to death out here? I didn't make you go hiking in a snowstorm. I should have known you'd be as... Wah! Please just leave or I'll call the cops. Ain't no cops around here. Speaking of... I don't see your fella's truck out here either. I'm dialing an iron on now. Fine. Suit yourself. Rick, there's someone we met driving down there. He was banging on the door and started threatening me. I'm pretty scared and I think I hear him moving around outside the house. Could you please come look since you live so close? Um, that... Please. Open the door, miss. It's me. So you're all alone here right now, huh? Yeah, but my friends will be back soon. Rick was in the house. Hey Rick. Dot dot dot. Storms like this bring out all kinds of folks. Dot dot dot. Not all of them know when to stay away. <gasps> Come back over. What do you mean? I live in Burlington. I haven't been to the rental in weeks. Everything okay, miss? Yeah. Because my friends are almost here. Is that so? Yeah, thanks for coming by, though. I'll be fine now. You can head back if you want. You sure about that? Yeah, I just overreacted. Maybe I should stick around, make sure everything's really okay. But he has a hammer, right? He's got a hammer. So if you are not Rick, who are you? Bang! Like, it's... It, it, you need to leave right now. What did you just say? Confront. Dot, dot, dot. Dot, dot, dot. This is my house. I will leave when I want to. <laughs> I want what's mine. This house. And you... You're trespassing. You, you need to leave right now. 
I don't think so. If anyone is leaving this house, it will be one of us. Go into the basement. Go into the basement. that door down like a like a like a dog my gosh Moving a muscle. What are you talking about? Oh my gosh. Nora got me killed, bro. Nora got me killed. I've called 911. Let's go, big up Rick. Let's go. Rick, you're a G. <laughs> I swear to God, if I die. I swear to the great Lord, if I die. I don't like you. I still don't like you, but thank you. <gasps> I told them everything that happened after Mike had left. Rick had called the cops. The storm had quieted down by the time they arrived. And of course, the man was nowhere to be seen. On our drive back, the whole night played over and over in my head. We think that the man we saw secretly lived in, the cab in that cabin when it wasn't being used and planned on robbing us during our stay, but cops seem to think that there was more intent behind this man's actions aside from just robbing us. Rick asked me what the man looked like, and after that he didn't ask any more questions. We think he knew more than he was letting on. But in the end, he gave us a full refund. Let's go, money! Oh. Little cutscene. Survivor. Survive through the fifth episode. See Queso on Dante. This actually happened to someone. Which one of you did this happen to? Oh my god. Thank you for playing Fuse of Heaven. Thank you for making Fuse of Heaven. My days. Alright everybody, thank you for watching. That has been Fears to Fathom, our Woodbury Getaway. And uh, if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. And, you know, comment down below if you want me to play... Uh, if you want me to play uh, Normal Hitchhike Carson House. Oh my god, there's a lot. Any of these, leave it in the comments and I'll play it. And without further ado, see you guys all later.